If you used to take capsules, the makers of Tylenol have just come up with something better. New extra strength Tylenol gel caps. They're gelatin coated. And compared to capsules, gel caps are 33% smaller with all that extra strength pain relief concentrated into a solid center under a smooth gelatin coating. So gel caps are actually easier to swallow. If you used to take capsules, try new extra strength Tylenol gel caps. It's not a capsule, it's better. After spending all morning at the auction, I shared the afternoon with two new treasures, a fine bone china cup and the taste of rich Swiss mocha from General Foods International Coffees. Celebrate the moments of your life. If I can't concentrate, I'm lost. So I eat a Snickers, and I know I, know I won't be hungry for at least three hours, and I can do my study, and I can go to bed. Packed with peanuts, Snickers really satisfies. The Snickers really satisfies you. Kick off the Super Bowl weekend with an all-star hour of music and comedy. It's bound to be a hit. Featuring George Burns, Shelley Long, Tiffany, and the Super Bowl quarterbacks. Playing quarterback today is just inviting injury. It's like walking up to Mike Tyson and asking, how's the little woman? It's Bob Hope's Super Bowl party, Saturday. BMW 325iS, Mercedes 560SL, outstanding. But compare them to Riata by Buick. Riata has more standard luxury features than BMW, for thousands less. And Riata's contemporary styling is less than half Mercedes price. In fact, Consumer's Digest calls Riata one of the best buys in domestic cars. Riata by Buick. The competition pales by comparison. The great American road belongs to Buick. Okay, Waist Watchers, here's a brand new way to get fit. Get ready and twist and now improved Huggies fit better than ever. Good and bend and Because stretch. Kleenex Huggies Super Trim Diapers with the exclusive dry touch system now have a new softly padded waistband. It cushions baby's waist for a gentler fit than ever before. Better fit and unbeatable dryness make wearing Huggies and left a and very happy routine. Right, class? Announcing a new addition to the Lysol Spray Family. Lysol Light Scent. Unlike the heavy perfume smell of some ordinary air fresheners, Lysol Light Scent's got a light, clean scent. It kills germs on surfaces, cleans the air, gives you all the power of Lysol spray. Get new Lysol Light Scent. They're going fast. Lysol Disinfectant Spray Light Scent, the newest addition to the Lysol family. What exactly do you do for a living, Mr. Russell? That's what I said yesterday. I'm in insurance. That's what I thought you said. In fact, you even left your insurance license lying around so Slade here could find it. Trouble is, it was forged. Oh, nice professional job, but forged all the same. Mr. Russell came here looking for something, Slade. Why don't you show him what he missed? Ken's had a little too much old fashioned red eye. Who's ready to go me? Excuse me, ladies. Well, part of the show, folks. Wait, this is crazy. You just shut your mouth. Hey, look, we can talk. We don't talk. This is a joke. You shut up. Come on. Come on, Slade. I didn't see anything. I like to give a man a fighting chance. Pick it up. Oh. No. You're crazy. This is the 20th century. Pick it up. 
can't do this, Slade. I'm a government agent. We know who you are. Make your play. This isn't the Wild West. Young Icarus, defying gravity. No one escapes gravity. Those knee pads take a beating. I guess they're built for that. Totally. The latest in space age materials. There's some behind the ramp. Check them out. Jim. The town of Pontiac is a clever recreation of a western gold mining town of the 1800s, a successful and profitable tourist resort owned and operated by one-time U.S. Congressman Ian McClintock. Although McClintock has retired from public life, his influence and power seem to be undiminished. He is wealthy, well-connected, and respected by his former associates. This man, Abel Russell, was an undercover FBI agent, part of a team investigating suspected American support for foreign terrorists. Last month, Russell disappeared after reporting that he was following a lead in the town of Pontiac. Police and FBI investigation could find no evidence of his whereabouts. We now believe that McClintock may be selling weapons to European terrorists, but his reputation and political connections make investigation both difficult and sensitive. Your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to discover whether McClintock is dealing with terrorists, whether he had any part in the death of Russell, and if he is guilty, bring him to justice. As always, should you or any member of your IM team be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This disc will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. He's a cowboy? Well, there's no doubt he'd like to be. All his life, McClintock has been fascinated by the legends of the old Wild West, obsessed with the Hollywood image of the hard-riding, fast-growing cowboy. So creating a town like Pontiac allows McClintock to uh, play out his fantasies. Are you sure he's not going through a second childhood? <laughs> Don't underestimate him, Shannon. 
He's a shrewd, clever man. A lot of power, a lot of influence. If he's dealing with terrorists, not much morality. Now, McClintock's other passion is gambling. We're going to make use of that. What have you found out? Well, I've been studying this surveillance film of McClintock pretty closely. Let's see if you guys notice anything. He's cheating. And once again? He's dealing from the bottom. Yes, among other things, Mr. McClintock is a cheat. But that's a game the two can play. Where do you park these ponies? Carter's in charge of horses. I ain't seen you guys before. I ain't never been here before. Got a job with the trucker bringing this mob down from Arizona. Mob's delivered, job's finished. Any chance of getting any work around here? Doing what? Well, whatever you guys have to offer. We're past being choosy, friend. Work's pretty hard to come by. I know a job in insurance. Well, I don't think insurance is exactly our line. We know horses, though. There's a rodeo in a couple of days. You can help out till then. We'll sign on at the staff office. You can bunk in the stables. I appreciate that. They don't look like they need work so bad. Why don't you just come right out and tell them about the FBI man? Come on, Slade. They're just bums looking for work. What do they know? Bums looking for work? I don't think so. Gave you the papers. Did you see his hand? His hand? You ever see a cowboy without calluses? So why'd you hire him? Because he might be here for the same reason the FBI guy was. And he might end up just the same way. <laughs> Hey, cowboy. We may have uncovered something about Russell. If he was posing as an insurance agent, he may have blown his cover. Trips. Looks like you're running a little low on chips, sir, Mr. Sutton. Well, I'm a... I plan on getting him back. You, the bar. I thought I told you to get out of town. Give me a whiskey. Let's get this trash out of here. Told me I could get a game here. Nobody said anything about a circus. Relax, Sutton. It's all part of the show. The kid stuff is over. Can we get on with the poker? I think we can give you all the action you want. That's for what you call kid stuff. What we do here is honor America's heritage. The real men. The men that made this country what it is today. Men like Wyatt Earp, Jesse James, Doc Holliday. Seems to me you're honoring psychopaths and killers. Seems to me you need to be taught a little respect. That little old pony frightened you, boy. I can handle it. 
Hey, Carter. The boy here says he ain't afraid of horses. You reckon you could ride that bronc, boy? If I had to. Looks like we got ourselves a real live bronco busting cowboy here. Ride anything on four legs. Is that a ride, boy? <laughs> well, I didn't exactly say that. Well, if you can't ride, you ain't much good around here. And I thought you wanted the job. Yeah. I want the job. Well, we better find out whether you can ride or not. Who do you mean to shoot? I'll ride him. Hell, a hard shot like you deserves a real challenge. Hey, Carter. Friend of yours gonna ride Bolero for us. All right, boy. You gonna ride Bolero? to do this. If you got one, you let me know. Purple heart. <laughs> Job's yours. Carter. You're hopeless. You know what, Carter? He's right. my last night down that mine. That's it. Slate ain't gonna like that. Slate can go to hell. That stuff's dangerous, man. It creeps up on me. Well, it's your funeral. I'm uh, beginning to think I've finally met my match at stud poker. Oh, everybody meets his match sooner or later. I'll go along with that. Hey, girlie, let's have those two. Here's to the past. The future. Blank playing cards? Well, each one of the cards will be covered with this filament. It's a liquid crystal display screen that'll be patched electronically into my computer. Watch this. King of Hearts. Nope. Ace of Spades. You think I'm crazy, don't you, hanging under the past like this? Is that what you're doing? 
world's rotten to the core, Sutton. It needs to be cleaned out, started over. Get rid of the bleeding hearts and the do-gooders. They smell things up with a stink of charity and weakness. Believe what? Who deserves to live? Only the strong? Yeah. Yeah, the strong fighters. Like you, is that what you're saying? What are you here for, Sutton? Play cards. It isn't only cards you're playing. <laughs> All right, Sutton, I'll play your game. We'll see who wins. me up. I overheard some talk in the saloon. One of McClintock's men was saying how dangerous the work was. Dangerous? They just mock shafts and drives with the tourists. There's no actual mining going on down there. Well, he said it creeps up on you. Creeps up on you? What in the hell's going on down there? Pinpointed the burial vault, started digging towards him. What about the men? Scared. Keep them at it, Slade. Yeah, we will. I'm more scared than this. Keep it that way. Look, I'm taking Setton out to the ranch. He's after something. I'm gonna find out what. Land could live for a week on a can of beans and a pound of jerky. Now they were real men, Sutton. Now you pasty faced pansies that passed today. So that's why you built Pontiac. So you could be like them, the Jameses and the Earps. I am like them. No, I don't think you are. The way I see it, those men took risks. They gambled every day, laid everything on the line. You think I don't take risks? Oh, I think you might have once, but now you're. You're like a lot of rich men. You're comfortable, self-indulgent. You've got it all, and you're playing it safe. You don't know anything about it. Well, then you tell me. If I did, I'd have to kill you. I don't think you've got the guts for that. Sutton. You talk big, Sutton. Suppose we play some poker, just you and I, and we'll raise the limit, high as you like. What's the problem? Got no stomach for it? No, I've got the stomach for it, all right. We'll play, but there'll be no limit. Sample that ore, I could analyze it. Wait here. of an atomic absorption spectrometer. It identifies the molecular structure of metallic compounds, breaks them down into easily identifiable groups. Does it tell you anything? I can't find a trace of any mineral worth mining. No copper, gold, silver, just shale and salt. Plain, ordinary table salt. One thing's for certain. 
something is happening in that mine. And the only way we're going to find out is to go down there. I think you're right. You'd better go with Grant. Max and Shannon, Slade has a sidekick. Carter, another one. See if you can get close to him, find out what he knows. Stomped on by horses all day, and I get paid peanuts. You expect me to go out with you? I hate losers. You call me a loser? Come here. <clears throat> Carter, get this eight ball for me. Come on, buddy. You let her alone. Yeah, yeah, all right. No hard feelings, ma'am. I hate losers. You think someone with his size would have a bit of authority, like you? Now you got authority. Uh, I suppose. One word from you, and he back right off. Huh. Mm. I like that man. That way, Mel. You sign on, you're on. You don't need me, Slade. I didn't ask you. We've broken through now. You don't need me for the rest. It's dangerous, Slade. The trouble is, I just couldn't bear to see you go, Mel. Maybe I just got to like seeing you around. I save my money. Half. I'll give you half. Half a mil? Wow, well, that's real generous, you know. Why don't we go back and discuss it? Don't you miss Slade? I'm not saying it. No, Slade! Come on, please. Come on, buddy. What are you talking about? No, 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 Grab a cut of him, do it. Come on. Some way to open it. Now look, I could figure out a way to open this thing, but it could take me a while. And I'd like to know what we've been walking into when we do. There's got to be survey charts, maps. In the mine office. You could show us the layout of the tunnels. What about mail? We can't just leave it. I think Mill's trouble's just ended. And ours could be just beginning. These boys are cold-blooded killers. This is Epcot Center. Epcot Center at Walt Disney World in Florida. For over 30 years, he's been television's leading lawyer. I think he's innocent. He's guilty as hell. Now, Perry Mason's reputation is on the line in a landmark case. He threw her down and tried to rape her. A brutal murder becomes the scandalous trial that will shock the nation. Search everywhere. Raymond Burr returns in the first new Perry Mason movie of the season, The Case of the Lethal Lesson, next. 
Sunday, I'll need money in a flash what? to give a blackmailer cash. He'll turn me in. Will he do something rash? Yeehaw! Then on the Hogan family, is that really? What? It ain't Beaver Cleaver. And he's born to be wild. Are you wearing an earring? It's either that or a wind chime. It's all new fun Monday. There's a tradition of generosity at Great Country Inns. That's why now you get more of what you like in every Country Inn brand rice dish. More cheese in every Country Inn cheese dish. Taste the Swiss in our asparagus or gratin. Even more vegetables in our vegetable dishes. More broccoli in our broccoli almondine. Tasty, delicious. Mmm. Bring home the generous taste of Country Inn. Now, more cheese, more vegetables. Post Raisin Bran with those plump, juicy, incredibly big California raisins has incredibly big news. Now you can get a fabulous, fun California raisins game free inside each specially marked box. Post Raisin Bran, cause big raisins make a big difference. We're broke. It's the perm. Cost 60 bucks on a fat tip. Could I trust this look to anything but Permasoft? Nah. Anything else is unthinkable. Unthinkable. Bigfoot, a legend that lives, may really exist. It would be the discovery of the century. See startling new evidence from eyewitnesses. I believe they're more human than ape. He was a race car star who was gunned down. It was well planned. Who killed driver Mickey Thompson. I saw two men on 10-speed bikes. You can catch them on Unsolved Mysteries Wednesday. Hi, may I take your order, please? Big Mac. McDLT. A quarter pounder with some cheese. Malaya fish. A hamburger. A cheeseburger. A happy meal with nuggets. Tasty golden french fries. Regular and larger sizes. Salad chef or gal Or a chicken salad or Baby breakfast. Egg and puffin. Hot cakes and sausage. Baby biscuits, bacon, egg and cheese or sausage. Baby. Ice cream, fruit and for dessert. Hot apple pies. And Sunday's favorite varieties. Soft chocolate. Three kinds of shakes. Chocolate chip cookies. And cheese. Coca Cola. Diet Coke. And orange juice. And a coffee decaf too. Bubble fat milk. Also an orange juice. Hello, McDonald's. Good job, Patrice. And I get this all at one place. Second day for McDonald's. Maybe I should talk to Slade about a better job. Listen, if you want a better job, you talk to me. If I say the man works... Well, I thought Slade was in charge of the mine. Mine? What do you know about the mine? You know, I'll get off work in about an hour. Somehow it just seems too early to go to bed. misses before we get it back. Come on. Hey, hey, what's the matter, Carter? Can't hold your liquor? Of course. Of course I can. Just a minute, just a minute. Who's the little lady? Her name is... Uh... My name is Sally. Uh, you're gonna put him to bed, are you, Sally? That's real sweet of you. Sure as hell can't get there by himself. Watch your money in your mouth, Carter. What's that supposed to mean? Carter knows what I mean. Don't you, Carter? Watch your mouth. Come on, honey. I'm gonna take you home. I worry about Carter. Oh, he's homeless. He just drinks a lot. He doesn't just drink a lot. He drinks a lot. He knows a lot. It's a dangerous combination, Slade. It doesn't help with the tunnel layout. And there's not a mining lease for 40 miles. No minerals of any marketable value at all. Well, Grant, we're now they're digging. And whatever they're digging for must be behind that false wall. 
What if they're not mining? Well, we've seen them. No? No, no, we've seen them carrying out rubble. If there was anything worthwhile down there, that could mean they're mining. But since there's not... They're tunneling. No. Doesn't make sense. Oh, here's Pontiac. There's nothing around for miles. No armament factories, no military bases, nothing. Just this government land, and there's nothing on it. Yes, but it's due north of Pontiac, and that's the direction the mine is heading. Maybe I.M. Files can tell us what's on that land. Very sensitive politically on that land. Or under it. Sleeping Beauty's finally waking up. Very sore head. We get out of here. Oh, you're awake. How do you feel, lover? Huh? How'd I get here? Well, you couldn't remember where you lived. And I carried you about as far as I could. Hmm. Stable was your idea. Huh? We had a really good time last night, didn't we? Hmm? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't say a word to anyone, okay? Huh? It's our secret. Secret? Well, what secret? Well, you know, that stuff you told me about the mine. What stuff? What'd I tell you? About that man in the FBI? What's his name, uh, Russell? Oh, my God. Look, I, I was drunk. There were no FBI men. And there ain't no rods. You say a word to anyone, you mention the burial vaults, and I'll kill you. I swear, I'll kill you. Yeah. I replaced the bullets in this gun with our own knockout darts. A little heavier than the ones we normally use. And I've altered the load slightly to give us good muzzle velocity and sufficient impact. Without driving the dart through the target. Exactly. Well, I'd say uh, a range of 50 yards maximum, because it still has to penetrate McClintock's vest and shirt. Mm -hmm. I used to be pretty good with one of these. <laughs> I'd say you still got it. <laughs> Don't tell me. Fat Masterson. Don't call it. <laughs> What'd you find out from our friend Carter? Well, not much, Jim, but he obviously knows what happened to the FBI man. Well, he's terrified about something. He said a couple of things. He talked about burial vaults. That's in Gravia. Huh? Yeah. Anything else? Rods. Just rods. Mean anything? Means a lot. The salt and the soil analysis. Underground salt beds are stable geological formations. Earthquakes, tremors, they have no effect on them. Which is why they use salt beds as burial vaults. For radioactive waste. The rods he mentioned. Nuclear fuel rods. What if they're buried, scrapped? And what good are they? Well, a nuclear reactor only uses 0.5% of the fuel available. So the rods themselves are recyclable for nuclear energy. Or nuclear weapons. And that's what McClintock plans to sell to the terrorists. The base material for nuclear bombs. I think it's time I called Mr. McClintock out.
It's a miniature radio mic. I'll be able to hear every bet and raise you and McClintock make. Good. We're about to teach Mr. McClintock how today's card sharp operates. game you promised me. For a while there, I thought you might have changed your mind. Boys, give Mr. Sutton a seat. We got a game to play. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. No limit. No limit. I've taken the liberty of asking the young lady to bring us a fresh deck, unopened. Suits me. lucky all of a sudden, you know that? Fortune favors the brave, McClintock. Yeah, we'll see about that. When I want the puppy to bark, I'll yank his chain. Sit down and shut up, Slade. I said sit down. His master's voice. Shut up, Slade. I'm going to go and get a drink. You do that. Take your time. It looks like they've found what they're after. Well, 
it looks like the best you can do is Jack's top set. Maybe it's time to fold. <laughs> Maybe you're bluffing, McClintock. I don't think you have anything in the hole. I think that ace is as good as you've got. Well, it's going to cost you to find out, like about five grand. Let's see your five. And I'll raise you 10,000. Your 10 and up 20 more. See your 20. And raise 20. Like shooting fish in a barrel. I'll just have to keep you honest. Let's see what you've got. You know, I thought you were smarter than this set. I guess I had you figure wrong. I'm paying to see a card, not hear a sermon. Don't worry, you'll see it. Well, I'm waiting, McClintock. What have you got? A pair of aces. <laughs> I'd just like to see that second ace. Ace of hearts. What? This was an ace, I swear she saw it. It's like a nine of spades to me. I had a pair of aces. It was an ace. <laughs> pair of jacks. Wait a minute! Oh, oh, You've been cheating. Of course I have, McClintock. It takes one to know one, doesn't it? Here's the way you did it. Dealing from the bottom. My way is a little more sophisticated. Let's show him, Grant. You wanted an ace of hearts? There it is. There's another one. There's another. Another one. Calling you out, son. I've played enough games for one day. You're gonna play one more. I want the street clear. Everybody off it. Now! What was that? Not your tunnel being blown, McClintock. The tunnel to the nuclear waste vaults you spent so much time trying to penetrate. The plutonium you were going to sell your terrorist friends is buried forever. Damn you, Sutton. Now you still want to call me out. Get this man a gun. Slay! Get him a gun! You got him the bar. Get him!
You still want to do this? Put it on. You send a boy to do a man's work, McClintock. Don't worry, Sutton. You'll get a shot at me when you finish with Slade. I'll show you who's a boy. Make your play. McClintock. You killed him. So it's your turn. You killed him in cold blood. Yes, just the way you had him kill Russell, the FBI man. The way you had him kill anybody who wanted to quit your operation. All right. So I had a few people killed. They couldn't be helped. I'm a powerful man. I got friends. Powerful friends, you can have anything you want. I've got what I want. Your confession in front of these people. of the show, folks. I called the FBI. They'll be here in a few minutes. Oh, well. Then it's time for us to go. And Mr. McClintock's headed for the last roundup. Touchstone Pictures presents the motion picture critics and audiences are cheering about. Beaches. Sneak Preview says one of the most heartwarming movies since Terms of Endearment. It was very touching. The music was just fabulous. Bed Midler was really good. <laughs> CBS Television gives Beaches four stars. Wasn't that something? And WNBC Television hails It's a Hit from Coast to Coast. Excellent movie. It'll make you laugh and cry and be glad that you went. Beth Midler, Barbara Hershey, Beaches. Rated PG-13. Now playing Select Cities. National Sneak Preview Saturday night. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on while you chew it. Say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath long lasting freshness. Well, nobody wants their baby's diaper to leak. That's a pain in the neck. But what's more important is that it keeps her dry. Because dry skin should stay healthier. As both a pediatrician and a parent, that's important to me. Introducing a diaper with the air dry system. Different because now the top sheet has air pockets right underneath, so it can absorb irritating wetness almost instantly. Wetness goes down into a lockaway core. Air goes up, leaving the top sheet so dry you can prove it with powder. Tried the new diaper. It really did keep her dry. What does the baby say? What a great improvement. Today's Ultra Pampers Plus with the air dry system. Because healthy skin begins with dry skin.
Are you taking a chance with a regular shampoo? They just rinse away loose dandruff. Later, new flakes can return. Head and shoulders help stop flakes where they start before they start. Because you get one chance to make a first impression. What started out as a treasured Christmas gift? Keeping out of the sunlight. Turned into the craziest holiday. Keep him away from water. The Peltzer family ever experienced. Don't ever feed him after midnight. Next. What is it? Start the new year off with a Steven Spielberg presentation of Gremlins. They call him a heart attacker. He married nine women, then he stole their money and their hearts. I would like to see this man get caught. You can help find him in Unsolved Mysteries. Then on Night Court, Run for it! the courthouse is burning down. <laughs> and Harry and Christine are burning up. It's a sizzling Night Court after Unsolved Mysteries Wednesday. Judge Juan Silvero may be coming home at last. He was abducted 10 days ago by men believed to be part of the private army of Esteban Magdalena, Colombia's most powerful drug baron. This could be the chopper returning to kidnap federal judge now. Silvero, who is known for his hardline sentencing against the drug cartels, has previously had two unsuccessful attempts on his life. In anticipation of Silvero's return, Police and government forces have made an unprecedented arrangement to provide secure airspace for the arriving helicopter. It is not known who is inside the helicopter, but it appears that there are at least three men aboard. The parish priest is holding back the family members, anxious to be reunited at last with Juan Silvero. There is a green canvas bag being lowered from the helicopter. During a race, a pit crew can change all four tires and refuel the car in less than 22 seconds. Yeah, it's true. In a close race, the speed of the pit crew often determines who wins. Yeah, like most sports, the winning edge depends on teamwork. No question. Take a look in the timing tower. Colombia was once called the Athens of Latin America, but it is now a city under siege. The drug lords have declared war on the government. The horrifying murder of Judge Juan Silvero shocked the entire population of Colombia. The person responsible for this heinous crime is Esteban Magdalena. 
With the killing of Judge Silvero, Magdalena has stepped up his campaign of terror, and his vicious tactics now threaten the very existence of the Colombian government. Magdalena's connection to the flow of cocaine into the United States is well documented, but Colombian police and military forces have been unable to extradite him. Your mission, Jim, should you choose to accept it, is to prevent Magdalena from overthrowing the Colombian government by returning him to the United States, where he will stand trial. As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This disc will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. Esteban Magdalena, Colombia's godfather. Our intelligence sources tell us that Magdalena's people are looking for experienced mercenaries to train their forces. Max, you'll not only have the credentials, you'll have enough hardware to make their mouths water. Good. Nicholas, it's going to be up to you and me to get to Magdalena directly. Right. Well, I've already made contact with the previous supplier. I told him that you were a disgruntled former Defense Department contractor willing to sell government secrets at the right price. This is the Blue Orchid nightclub. Magdalena's people own it. He likes them to import American singers to perform there. The talent agency that does the booking is in Los Angeles. Shannon, your plane leaves for there tonight. Sarah Parsons. According to this, you're a hell of a singer. We've given you an extensive background that will stand up in case they decide to check on you. Now, one more thing. From Los Angeles, the singers are generally flown to Bogota by private plane. I know how you feel about small planes. Can you handle it? I'll be fine. Good luck with your audition. Sarah Parsons, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Your resume, please. Why don't we start? Hang on just a minute, okay? Yes, can you give me a weather update? Yes, I have a flight planned file toward Los Angeles to Bogota, Colombia. But that storm was headed out to sea an hour ago. Well, how fast is it moving? Okay, thank you. This is Luis Magdalena. I want my plane topped off and ready to leave in 30 minutes. Right away, sir. That's it for today. Thank you very much. You've got the job. Three grand a week, two weeks guarantee. Just like that? Senorita, I don't have the time. You want the job or not? Well, I have to get my passport updated. You won't need that. I have a private plane. We go straight from here to the airport. That is not a problem, is it? Very well. Colombian coffee. Only the best. We have the use of this coffee bar for one week. I heard from Nicholas. He should be meeting with one of Magdalena's suppliers right now. You think Max is set up yet? I told him I'd check with him at 1500. It's that now. Here, Jim. Any information yet on Magdalena's whereabouts? Well, not yet, but I'm expecting to meet his chief honcho. I'll press for a meeting. Be in touch as soon as you have anything. Yeah, we'll do. You want a drink? We have a bar on board. No, thanks. You look like an actress who forgot to turn her answering machine on. I just don't like flying. How much longer? Oh, we're less than an hour out. You better sit down and put your seatbelt on. Just put it around your waist. Do we have to fly all the way to Bogota? I mean, this weather? Isn't there an airstrip? It wouldn't be safe. Well, flying through a storm is not exactly my idea of safe. Look, this plane belongs to my uncle, and he wants it to return to his private airstrip. Yeah, well, didn't you ever hear a 
song by the Rolling Stones. It's called You Can't Always Get What You Want. Well, you got a temper. I like that. Oh, my God. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Robot Dash Center. This is Lear HKAA471. We had a lightning strike on the right wing. And my electronics are gone. Left 410. I'll try and land near the river. Yeah, so tell me if there's an airport near the river. I mean, there's an airstrip. That's where we're headed, isn't it? I'm afraid not. I'm going to try and land whatever I can. Baby will take out a tank a quarter of a mile away if used correctly. Use it incorrectly, and there'll be nothing but smoke and a few ashes left of you. How's my new professor? Make sure you teach them well. Yeah, but school's over unless I see the man who hired me and get the dollars we agreed on. Yeah, not a problem. Here in Bogota, we pay by the pound. And the man I'm working for? Magdalena? Yeah, we all work for Senora Magdalena. Look, I'm in the habit of knowing who I work for. When do I meet him? You don't. Any questions, any problems, you bring them to me. Yeah? Yeah, I'm on my way. Javier! Raphael, in the truck. Ah, uh, si, senor. Sorry to break up your class, but there's been an accident. Senor Magdalena's private plane has crashed. Is he okay? He was not aboard, but his nephew, the pilot, was hurt. Along with some singer he was flying in. What hospital? I mean, I have uh, connections. If you need doctors... They will take it to San Miguel. Whatever his nephew needs, Senor Magdalena will provide. Thank you for offering. Jim. Yeah, Max? Shannon's been in a plane crash. She's at San Miguel Hospital along with Magdalena's nephew, the pilot. Any word on her condition? Well, that's all I've got. Well, Grant and I'll get right over there. We'll let you know as soon as we have something. around 2 o'clock? Yes, that's right. It's over an hour from now. You mind if I have a seat over here and wait? No, not at all. Thank you. I can't remember anything. This morning they kept calling me Sarah. Sarah. What's happening to me, Doctor? You were injured in a plane crash. But you're going to be all right. But it would be in your best interest to stay a day or two longer so we can keep you under observation. It's not possible, Doctor. Senor Magdalena wants his nephew at his villa, where he knows he will be safe. What about my passenger? She has suffered concussion and a memory loss, probably due to the trauma of the crash. We'll know more in a few days. She's coming with us, doctor. As her doctor, I could not possibly sign her out. We'll be leaving at once. Do I make myself clear? She's in 506. Jim, you've got company headed your way. What's happening? Where are they taking me? Shh. You're going to be fine. We'll take good care of you.
could they do this? What kind of a doctor would let her out? This is Bogota, Grant, and Magdalena's word is law. And now he's got Shannon. You overheard the doctor say he didn't think there was any neurological damage. Shannon's memory loss is certainly not uncommon, given the trauma of a plane crash and her fear of flying. Yes, but for how long? Well, we won't know that until we know the extent of her injuries. Now, what does this mean, Jim? Do we end the mission and just get Shannon out safely? Maybe. We have to get inside Magdalena's villa to figure out how to break her out of it. Busting Shannon out of this place ain't gonna be a day at the beach, I can tell you that. Hmm. Hello. Adley, Stephen Elliott. Yeah, speaking. I discussed your proposal with my client. One of his representatives will pick up your man tomorrow at the hotel, 8 o'clock. He'll be there. Defense Department contractor with short-range heat-seeking missiles. That would get these boys' attention. I also told him that you'll only deal with Magdalena himself. You're going to get a good look at the villa tomorrow. If Shannon is there, and Magdalena's there, what do you think about getting them both? Maybe. I won't know until I see the house. I just hope Shannon is all right. Flowers for Luis Magdalena. Gracias, Angelina. Te puedes marchar. Today? Well, the headache's gone. But I still can't remember who I am or what I'm doing here. I've got to get out Shh, of here. Shh, relax. What's the hurry? I think there are people who should know that I was in a plane crash. Or at least that I'm alive. I checked. Your name is Sarah Parsons. You live at 415 Franklin Avenue, West Hollywood. Anything else? You are single. You live alone. And you've never been married. You didn't have a wedding ring on, but I checked anyway. You're a singer, remember? No, I don't remember. That's the problem. Look, in a day or so, everything will come back to you. And you are going to start by having this. I wonder if I like strawberries. Hmm. Yes, I think I like strawberries very much. Did any of my clothes survive? Not a threat, but finish your breakfast and we'll do something about that. Mr. Simpson, I have been instructed to take you to meet with Senora Magdalene. That's what I'm here for. Magdalena's villa? Yeah, but Senor Magdalena no longer lives there. There is much unrest in our country. Mm. Beautiful. I just can't make up my mind. We take them both. I'm pleased to have some more. Senor Magdalena is one of the men in this room. As a safety precaution, I cannot tell you which one. Gentlemen, I'm going to show you what my surface heat-seeking incendiary missile is all about. These may be had singly or in multiples, whatever your requirements may be. 
Now. An intruding vehicle crosses a security boundary. That's any boundary on your property that you choose. Now, the heat from the engine and from the occupants registers on a locking tracking device. And at a prearranged point, again, any point you choose, the intruding vehicle can be eliminated. Now, if any of you is interested in acquiring this device for a site you may have in mind, know that I require a startup fee of $100,000. You are to begin your work right away, Mr. Simpson. I'll be in touch. Some kind of Halloween party you invited me to? This is not a place to joke around. Your students ready to give a demonstration with a rocket launcher? A couple of them are, but you got a few in that bunch I wouldn't trust with a cat pistol. What is this place? This is Senor Magdalena's safe house. Yeah, what's so safe about it? There are landmines all around the perimeter. The walls are 18 inch concrete. <whistles> and we know how to deal with intruders. Looks like he got him pretty well covered. Yeah, except for when he ventures out at night to the Blue Orchid. Well, it's dangerous, I know, but from his point of view, what's the point of having the wealth and power if you have to live like a prisoner? Well, a man's gonna have some fun. Yeah. A penny for your thoughts? I'm sorry. My mind just wandered off. So uncomfortable not knowing. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I want you to meet my uncle tonight at the Blue Orchid. Mm, that was the place I was supposed to see. Mm -hmm. I want to introduce you to him. I show him the treasure I found. Well, Max's pictures certainly tell the story. We'd never get Magdalene out of this place. No, you're right. It's too heavily fortified. What about the nightclub, the Blue Orchid? Where she was supposed to sing. Let's check it out. Grant. Yes, Jim. Shan has just arrived with Magdalena's nephew. This is my table. We're going to have a wonderful night together. Just you and I. Do you look at Magdalena in here as well as Shannon? He didn't come in through the front. He didn't come from the rear door either. I'm standing right beside it. Has he been taking good care of you? Yes, your nephew Luis has been very good to me. Oh, yes. If there is anything at all I can do to help, you let me know. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. I have a surprise for you. What do you make of Shannon? She looked right at me. She doesn't recognize me. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone who'll watch over me. I'm a little lamb who's lost.
Shannon and Magdalena just left. You have them? Negative. Nicholas? They didn't get out the back door either. What do you think happened to the lights, huh? A waiter told me that the power in Bogota is not very reliable. It's a lie. You and I both know it. They got the lights on purpose. I know how you feel, but I want to back just as much as you do. Zing? Zing? What's zing? Zing is the cool, refreshing taste of new Cran Fruit brand sauce. Ocean Spray's tangy blends of crushed cranberries and sun-sweetened fruit, like oranges or raspberries. Wait till you taste the cool, refreshing zing it gives sandwiches. Wow! Wait till you taste the zing it gives chicken. Mmm! Or even pancakes. Ooh! Now you can add a cool, refreshing... Zing! Zing! To everything with new Cran Fruit Sauce. Wait till you taste it. Monday, <laughs> Molly Ringwald's in... Love. Do you feel it in your knees? But with whom? I felt it everywhere. Welcome to another day of higher education. Is it Andrew McCarthy, John Cryer, or Steve Lawrence? Does he have strong lips? It's the network TV premiere of loving, hating, and dating. Nothing is missing. It's Pretty in Pink, Monday. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. My hair used to be a joke. Dry, split ends. Then I discovered Pantene. Pantene has this pro-vitamin formula that actually strengthens your hair from inside. It's incredible. Even with everything I put my hair through, it looks so healthy, strong, shiny. Listen, it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Pantene, serious care for beautiful hair. You'll see. Folks who use Tartar Control Crest have a few things to say about their cleaning. It's wonderful. Great. It's marvelous. That's it? You should care Beautiful. for me. Because dental cleanings are easier with Tartar Control Crest. It's awful nice. <laughs> yeah. It's paradise. Woo! It's what I love to see. So use the toothpaste more dentists recommend. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Tartar Control Crest, the dentist's choice, is hard on Tartar and easy on you. All right. <laughs> I've had it with reality. I want illusion. So, L'Oreal reinvented oil-free makeup. New Matique, Illuminating Matte, the illusion of glow, but not ever the shine. New Matique, Illuminating Matte Makeup, from L'Oreal. Who says 35 cents and gets nothing today? You get a whole half candy bar, exotic plant, a compact car, or you can get a Whopper. Just buy a Whopper and get a second one for only 35 cents. A 35 cent Whopper. gray Subaru ain't what she used to be. Introducing the larger, more powerful Subaru Legacy. What exactly does your uncle do for a living? Oh, he provides. Not just for me, but for hundreds of people. Hospital for the poor, houses for the homeless. But this is not America, this is Colombia. Decent men like my uncle are targets of outlaws, political extremists. But it's something that we learn to live with. But I didn't mean to frighten you. You are very safe here. 
I feel very safe. Come here. Well, this is a city redevelopment map which shows the underground tunnel network beneath the nightclub. It's quite extensive and very complex. Yes, well, right now, we have to concentrate our efforts on getting Shannon out of Magdalena's villa. I have an appointment there this afternoon to survey the place for the heat-seeking defense system. But given Shannon's memory loss, I mean, how can you approach her? Well, I'm hoping she'll remember me as a doctor from the hospital. Well, Doc, a little something we borrowed from NASA. It was developed for use on space stations where medical facilities will be limited. It feeds information to a computer, so a complex medical examination can take place even millions of miles away. Now, this will tell us if Shannon's memory loss is a result of neurological damage. Well, if it is neurological, all we can hope to do is get her back home so she can get the best medical attention possible. Or if the memory loss is a result of psychological trauma. Yeah, which is certainly possible given her fear of small planes. Well, if that's the case, we might be able to help her then. These eyepieces are actually two video screens. The videotape player has some information on it, which I think will mean something to Shannon. A triggering device that may help speed up the recall. Problem is, it's just a big maybe. And Nicholas and I saw how she looked at that guy in the nightclub. I've got to believe if we can get her out of there, we can help. And Jim, you'll need to be alone with her. Maybe Max can help with that. Yeah. Sanchez will be taking me to Magdalena's villa this afternoon. Can you create some kind of diversion around 4 o'clock? Urgent enough to get him to leave? I think I can accomplish that. Four o'clock. Got it. Take a break, guys. Lunch is on me. Mm, what about me? You? Yeah. You have to stay after school. Why? Because I want to give you this. I don't know what to say. I don't say anything. Just put it on. Sarah, I know all the reasons, but this is the wrong time. But I had to let you know how I felt before things change. I love you, Sarah. I know that you can answer me now. But please, wear the ring until you can decide, eh? Yeah? <laughs> Be long. I'll be back in two hours. Pass in is the one we were just on. The guards at the gate all have automatic weapons. At old times. <laughs> Maybe you don't need an additional heat-seeking defense system. We'll decide what we need, Mr. Simpson. When you are as wealthy as Senor Magdalena, need has little to do with things. You get what you want. I'll have to take soil samples from several areas to measure the heat retention. Knock yourself out. Gentlemen, note the position of the demonstrator. The back is straight. The arms are extended parallel to the ground, bent to the elbow. 
Prepare to fire. Checking your target. Aim. Fire! <laughs> nice shooting. You just jammed it, Ace. Get Sanchez for me. Yeah. One of your geniuses just may have trashed a $40,000 rocket launcher. Now, who's going to pay for that, you? How the hell could that happen? Well, maybe you just want to come over and ask him yourself. Hey. hospital. How are you feeling? Physically fine, but... But no memory recall, huh? Mm. That's why I'm here. I'd like to do a couple of tests that may tell us more about your condition. Grant, right, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, Jim, we're ready. Jim, there's no neurological damage. That means your memory loss is psychological. All right, now we'll try the next step. See the screen now? Mm, yes. Here we go. Sarah Parsons. So did I. Yeah, we're aware of that. Jim, I'm involved with Magdalena's nephew. Yes, we're aware of that, too. The nephew of a Colombian drug lord. Shannon, this place is like a fortress. It's very heavily guarded. We have to figure a way to get you out of here. He asked me to marry him. Do you want to? A wedding ceremony. If you would go through a wedding ceremony, we could not only get you out of here, we might flush Magdalena out as well. find another way. I can handle it, Jim. They're drug dealers. This wealth is at the expense of human misery. That's why we're here. Go ahead, set it up. You sure?
for my wife to be. Why change your mind? I feel the way you do. I just couldn't wait. Then let's get married. I've had this plan in my mind for a long time. You know, there is a lot of superstition in Bogota. People say you can't have all this wealth and be happy too. I don't understand that. If you could choose one, Luis, which one would you choose? No, oh, I don't have to make that choice. I have it all. I've got to tell my uncle. He's going to be so happy. Bye. Magdalena will leave the safe house and come to the villa to give the bride away. Those church bells go every day at 3 o'clock exactly. We'll use that for a signal. At a wedding celebration, we'd have that element of surprise, that's for sure. If there's any problem, Max, they've got a lot of firepower, including a helicopter. Can you stop them? Well, I don't think I can stop them, but uh, I can slow them down a little. Ideally, we'll be able to get both Shannon and Magdalena. But if anything gets out of control, forget about Magdalena and make sure we get Shannon to safety. Well, what about the airport? Can we get a plane? I heard Sanchez saying they've got a new Learjet to replace the one Magdalena's nephew crashed. Well, look, I better get back before I missed. Well, now we have to figure out how do we get to the wedding. Well, I made a list of the things you need at a wedding. Let's see. Uh, caterer, flowers, organist, priest, photographer. Of course, a priest. What is a wedding without a priest? I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to get out of the car, Father. Father, we're going to need your car. And your clothes. These handcuffs will release themselves automatically just a few hours from now. In time, you'll understand all of this. I think I understand now. Bless you, my sons. Thank you, Father. Do you bring the rings? Take it easy. They're right here. I'm so nervous. Max, are you in position? Ready and waiting, Jim. Set, Shannon. Ready. Father Vecchio, Father Thomas Vecchio. We were expecting Father Cafiro. Ah, yes. Well, you know Father Cafiro. I know Father Cafiro. He's with those damn coffee-growing peasants, isn't he? Yes, well, he loves all his children.
Time to keep away the bride, Uncle. Maybe I'll just keep it for myself, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So beautiful. Thank you. You know, I couldn't be closer to Luis if you were my own son. Everything I have will one day be his. He will never want for anything. Luis. Yes, Father. I have a few last minute instructions for the bride and your uncle, and I'll be just a minute. Oh, I'll come with you, Father. Tradition. You cannot see the bride before the ceremony. Oh, yes. Yes, Father. His first pony. I gave it to him when he was seven. There are a few things I'd like to discuss. And what is that, Father? They're onto us. Take the helicopter out. New command, Jim. Now.
I'll be fine. This is the world of Outlaws. Turbo Outlaws. Radio control machines. Almost awesome. Open wheel. Action packed. Dirt racing monsters ever built. With outlaw moves and outlaw skill from Tyco RC. Just hit the turbo trigger for turbo power and feed into the draw. Because there's a little outlaw in all of us. Radio control turbo outlaws. Only from Tyco RC. Quick, up here. It looks just like you. Looking all right yourself, kid. Now when you buy a $5 book of McDonald's gift certificates, you get a free plush musical ornament of Oliver or Dodger. The characters from the new Disney movie, Oliver and Company, now only at a theater near you. Oliver and Dodger make great gifts and even play a tune. Hey, Dodge, we made beautiful music together. Yeah, kid. Your holiday place, McDonald's. Twenty years ago, the town's most seductive woman became the victim of a brutal murder. Twenty years later, a more beautiful, more seductive woman will face the same end. I can't believe what I'm looking at. The case they never solved. Do your homework, Mr. Tips. The case that defies explanation. A spectacular new Heat of the Night movie, The Case of the Voodoo Murders, next. Jack Killian's got a new boss. I made my money the old-fashioned way. I inherited it. And she put this ex-cop on the air. What are you doing? I can't read this. Let me wing it. And give you one year. Ad lib? Yeah, that's it. Now they're looking for a connection. Miss or Mrs. It's Miss. Now how did I know that? Midnight Caller premieres Tuesday. Hmm, what's that fragrance you're wearing? a statement without saying a word. That's a snow leopard? Yeah. That's a tiger. Come to Wendy's for your cuddly animals and help us help World Wildlife Fund protect the real ones. And that's mom. Uh-oh. Get your kids all four wild animals only at Wendy's. I've never known this feeling. I love you. Don't you love it when he says those words? The Jardin d'Amour is the fragrance that inspires his love. I wear it, and he tells me everything I want to hear. Without the protection of the Constitution, there would be something missing in your life. The Constitution. The words we live by. do not have Egypt's best interests at heart, Anwar. They're the government's policies, Salim. I'm just one of many who believe they're right. Right? Right for what? To blend Egypt into a community of lesser nations? To destroy a greatness born thousands of years before Christ? Your position as curator of the Ancients Museum is influential, Salim. But it does not allow you to dictate policy to me. And you may surround yourself with antiquities, but the days of the pharaohs are dead. And you must live in the 20th century. Very well, Anwar, if that is your final word. But know this, the pharaohs are not dead. They are only sleeping. It is you who are dead.
Who's there? No! 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 Hurt me! No! Go away! No! I guess we'll never know how these magnificent creatures disappeared. They roamed the Earth for more than 200 million years. Some scientists believe a giant meteor was the reason for their demise. Maybe. Why don't you take a look over there if you want to get better informed? officials in the Egyptian government have died horrible deaths by strangulation. The latest to die was Anwar Farday. His behind-the-scenes power brokering helped put Egypt on the road to a new level of negotiation with Israel and several radical Arab states. We believe that this man, Forrest Salim, is somehow connected to the deaths. The director of the prestigious Museum of the Ancients, he has used his high-profile job to create antipathy toward government policies and believes Egypt should return to the greatness of its past, a past he oversees at his museum. Your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to determine Salim's guilt and put a stop to the killings before they unbalance the U.S. peace effort presently underway to calm the volatile Middle East. As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the Secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This disc will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. Good. Well, we've set up in the tomb. Mm -hmm. Horace Selim, expert in Egyptology and an ardent nationalist. If he's behind the murders, he's going to be tough to nail. Okay, let's say this is the guy. What's our first move? The man standing next to Selim is named Karnak. He's the right-hand man of the museum. And possibly does Salim's dirty work. Yes. So a little dividing there may help us conquer. Max, how soon can the tomb be ready? Well, with a little help from my friends. No more than a day. Mm -hmm. Now, since this site has been excavated over the past year, we're going to have to make Salim believe we've found something that's been overlooked. Shannon, are you ready? Salim's obsession with the past is fanatical. In particular, he has a preoccupation with the ancient god Seth. I think we can use that to begin with. Okay. Then it's time to find out exactly what we're dealing with. And that's how old Hollywood saw ancient Egypt. Now, if you follow me, I'll show you a real mummy. Are they called? Yes, Master. For tonight. What is troubling you? The last killing has caused a great stir. I do not wish to wear the vest and wrappings again. You will not have to, Karnak. 
the day of Seth will soon be at hand. The cord. That is all, Karnak. Karnak Zapka. Who is asking? Fuck. National Security Police. I have some questions I want to ask you. About what? About your work at the museum and your employer, Dr. Selim. He is a great man. That is all you need to know. A great man, yes. All I need to know? No. I think he may be involved in some recent political murders. What do you think about that? I am a humble servant of the museum. If you have questions of Dr. Selim, ask them of him. I will. In time. I thought maybe you'd like to be helpful. Perhaps protect yourself. I have done nothing. I see. And there is no reason for me to detain you any further, is there? Jim. Yes, Nicholas. Karnak just had a run with the secret police. How'd it go? I think I made an impression. Okay, come on in. I wouldn't use those things in here. Would I communicate a cause there? Yeah. All objects have their own natural frequencies at which they can be disrupted. A wine glass being shattered by a singer, for example. Our communicators operate on a subsonic frequency, which is obviously unsettling to the stone. And the faint signal is because of the stone, the fact we're underground. Yeah, if that door were closed, they'd be useless. Uh -huh. Tell me about Seth. Let me show you what I've got. Jennifer Dobson. I'm a graduate student working on a dig outside of Giza with my father. Perhaps you've heard of him, Professor Matthew Dobson. I'm afraid not. Well, anyway, it's all very exciting. Father thinks that we're on the verge of a major find. I wish you and your father good luck now, if you will excuse me. What a coincidence, standing in front of the god Seth. His image keeps appearing on the scroll that father's working from. What scroll is this? It was given to him by the widow of an English aristocrat. It seems that she found it in their attic among antiquities. Her husband was a journeyman archaeologist in the late 20s. A scroll of Seth. What? Nothing, nothing, my dear. I would be most interested in meeting your father and viewing his work. Perhaps we can arrange a time tomorrow. We would be honored. Seth, god of darkness and evil, murderer of the god Osiris. Now, the original cult of religious assassins dates back to the middle of the fourth millennium BC. Most of his images were destroyed during the Crusades. What's he supposed to be? Canine, antelope, donkey, dragon, take your pick. How about the scroll? Scroll of Thoth. Now, it's believed that this tells how Isis raised Osiris from the dead after his murder at the hands of Seth. And we can use this as a guide to make our own scroll this ancient piece of papyrus. So we forged the scroll right on here. Yeah, just lay it under the laser printer. Make a few alterations from Thoth on the computer. And we'll have a scroll that should really whet Salim's appetite. Master, he was saying that you were responsible for the murders, that I should protect myself. You would not betray me, would you, Karnak? The sands of Seth are unforgiving. Never, Master, no. But what should we do? Nothing. The day of Seth is almost here. 
then there will be no secret police. Ancient Egypt will be Egypt once again. For Seth, you will kill. And for killing, you will be rewarded in the new order. The full moon tells us to rid ourselves of another politician. Seth has been his judge. And we are his executioner. As you know, Doctor, method is everything in archaeology. It's tiresome and time-consuming and boring, but this is why we do it. We must take this to the museum immediately. Father thinks we're about to uncover the tomb to the high priest of the cult. Yes, and this doesn't leave my sight until we do. Now look. These symbols indicate this area of the valley was the original center of the cult. So, of course, the tomb of the high priest can very well be nearby. Maybe. The writing's become obscured here. Oh, excuse me, Professor. We need a rest. It's too hot. It's too hot? Listen, you get back to work. If I'd known you were this useless, I wouldn't have done your father the favor of taking you on. Well, maybe I should just quit. Like the others you've driven off with your crazy quest. Well, that's fine. Then you can tell your father that's something else you couldn't finish. Oh. Sam. Please. I don't want to talk about it. It treats me like dirt. As I was saying, the last part of the scroll has become faded beyond the ability of the naked eye to read it. You must let me take this back to the museum where we can examine it properly. No, it stays here. Very well. But you must keep us posted on your progress. Perhaps coffee tomorrow, if you're in the city? Of course, of course. Jennifer will drive you back now. Remember, ancient Egypt belongs to Egypt.
ancient weaponry. All pretty normal. Axe, dagger, scimitar. All except that one. It's a taunt. Strangulation cord. Fourth millennium BC, peculiar to the cult of Seth as a means of execution. Seth and Salim, they do seem to go together. Anything on the stone slabs? No, nothing yet. It'll take the computer a little time to decipher them. It's interesting, they're on rollers. I'll let you know. Always an honor, Dr. Salim. Thank you, Serapis. I did not want to cause a problem in front of your daughter yesterday, so here I will be direct with you. I want that scroll. As I've told you before, the scroll stays with me until I find the tomb of the high priest of the cult. What can a second-rate archaeologist like you know of that scroll or what it means for Egypt? You came by it by accident. Doctor, your attitude is very unfriendly, and I would say unjustified. If you want that scroll for your museum, I suggest you be a little more supportive. Uh -huh. My apologies, Professor. The cult of Seth has been my obsession for some time. He was the greatest of the gods of Egypt. He was a god of evil and darkness. It's all a matter of interpretation, Professor. Evil is evil, no matter what color you paint it, Doctor. I put the rest of the equipment in the Jeep, Father. You're still here, I see. Yeah, does it follow you? Frankly, yes. Good. Would you two stop it? I talked Sam to stay. I think that he should. Don't you think it's so wonderful what we found, Doctor? Oh, I'm not sure, Miss Dobson. I'm at a loss to know what you're talking about. Well, I haven't had a chance to tell you. We found the entrance to a tunnel at the base of the dig. That's what the equipment's for. We're going back to open it up now. Good day, Doctor. Master, look, the secret policeman. These scriptures are for ceremonies performed in the name of Seth. Some for burials, some for worship, and some for executions. The reason they're on rollers side by side is that it allows the various scriptures different readings at particular times of year. Now, this is from the fourth millennium BC, but it's just as valid today. Because the time of year is based on the movement of the sun and the moon particularly the waning and waxing of the moon. Watch this. This scripture preaches execution by strangulation. And the position of the moon in this configuration jumps from full moon to new moon to third quarter to first quarter. Four positions. And four men over two months. Have you checked this against the dates of the murders of the politicians? You bet. And they're right on. This full moon passed last night. Which means the fifth murder's already been committed. Yeah. And if I'm reading this right, there are a lot more executions to come. I'm going to lay a high-frequency emulsion on the faded part of the scroll here so that uh, if we need Salim to feel that he's done Seth wrong, he will. Max, remember to call us when you know they're on the way. Right. So there's no doubt Salim is our man. I think it's time we shifted into fifth gear. You wanted to see me, sir? I know that Dr. Salim comes here. I want you to set up a meeting. I'm a humble cafe owner, sir. Dr. Salim does not do my bidding. Just tell him it's about a scroll. He'll come. something to think about. And Anubis will lend credibility to our find. I'll finish it when we close it up. No, I better start getting set up in the ruins over the hill. You're all set, Nicholas. Ah, thanks, good man. So, we're almost finished. Max ought to be making contact right about now.
why I was treated this way. I said I just wanted to meet with you. Karnak. Oh. Oh. Finally, the power of the High Priest is mine. With this, I cannot fail. As the scroll of Thoth raised Osiris from the dead, so shall this scroll make me all-powerful. But why bring it to me? Because I hate the professor. And Jennifer told me how hard you pressed to have it. I'll admit I'm after money, but I haven't wasted my life. I've studied the ancients. And I know the power behind the god. And what do you really know of him? You, a product of Western civilization. Karnak. I know that the execution of the unfaithful has been called and that more will die because the God is righteous in his anger. You know a great deal, but tell me of the tomb of the high priest. Has it really been found? We opened a tunnel door and found an antechamber. The tomb itself remains sealed because the professor is worried about a curse. And well, he should. Karnak, you will wear the wrappings one more time. The professor and his daughter are still in our way. Yes, master. What he deserves, Jennifer. You scum! How could you do it? Silence! <clears throat> the curse of the High Priest. Anubis, the seal of the Seven Jackals. No one has entered here for 4,000 years. Go ahead, open it. The curse will be your undoing. Oh, I will open it, my dear. But the tomb will not be my death, it will be yours. Because after we have taken what belongs to Egypt, you and your father will be sealed in it forever. There are some parts of our Burger King Cheeseburger Deluxe McDonald's doesn't want you to notice. Like it's flame broiled and juicy, with crisp lettuce and red ripe tomato. No wonder McDonald's hates the Burger King Cheeseburger Deluxe. No wonder you're gonna love it. I don't think he's a drifter, acting upon victims of opportunity. Skillful entry indicates premeditation and planning. Bodies being arranged into an audience. There's a rich and intense fantasy lot going on. The act fuels the fantasy. To understand his motive, you have to know his illusions. The Netflix premiere of the chilling psychological thriller. The psychologists call him a psychopath. They don't know what else to call him. Manhunter, next. A mother dies. My wife, 28 years old, comes into the hospital to have a baby and dies? A baby survives. I don't know what she wants. I don't know what she needs. This is your own flesh and blood. And a father is born. We're going to make this work. Midnight Callers, Gary Cole and Growing Pains, Joanna Kern star in a world premiere movie, Though She Left Behind, Monday. Today, over 40 million families are getting something extra. It's not a tax refund. They haven't won the lottery, didn't get a raise. What's happening is the one place where they all shop has lowered prices on over 50,000 items in their stores and catalogs. Who are these 40 million lucky families? The customers of Sears. 
This is the man who knows breakfast best. Now he brings us Quaker Oat Squares, delicious squares of whole grain oats with a taste as timeless as the Quaker man himself. Quaker Oat Squares, from the man who knows breakfast best. You're invited to share some secrets. I have an enormous ego. I fell madly in love with him. He was married and everything was terrible. With some of Hollywood's hottest celebrities. Something is wrong with me when it comes to the man thing. I just couldn't be monogamous. It's very simple. Expect the unexpected starting Monday at Rona's. It's a nice feeling to buy something you look great in. But it's even nicer to know that you didn't pay a lot for it. Good design isn't a matter of money, it's a matter of taste. Spending more doesn't always mean you're getting more. What's great is that Kmart makes my fashions affordable to everybody. At Kmart, we feel that just getting what you pay for isn't enough. You should get more than you pay for. I'd like people to walk out of Kmart feeling like, I just got the best deal of my life. Hi, Dad. I heard. Yeah, two cavities. It's time for ACT. Act Fluoride Rinse can cut cavities 40% more than brushing alone. Because Act gets to surfaces a brush can miss. Act now to reduce cavities 40%. We will take the high priest and antiquities to the museum. Master, the curse, what does it say? It says the dead will walk again to inflict eternal punishment on those who defile the tomb. Leave her. You just can't leave them in here to die. And why not? You may gain more than mere money if you are worthy of the new order. Or you may join them. Choose. Seal it. I thought so. shouldn't have shot the professor and his daughter in that tomb. The master does as he pleases. But if the curse has any truth, we will all suffer. Be more careful. And those pieces should be treated with the respect they deserve. I admire your respect for the ancient. Karnak, you will start cataloging them. Mr. Lake, you will come with me. sealed in here. Max is with them. Are you all right? Yes, I'll be okay. Max didn't warn us. I tried to get Grant on the communicator, but no response. No, well, these stones are too thick and too far underground. It's her a signal to get through. Or for air to get in. These are the leaders of modern-day Egypt. Politicians, businessmen, influence peddlers, all powerful, but weak when compared to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. But the pharaohs were gods. And the world is different now. Only men like these make it different. They care nothing for Egypt. Her greatness lies in the past, not in so-called negotiations with lesser states. Their deaths will usher in the new order. You would kill all these men? Why? To throw the government into chaos, to foment revolution, to give birth to a new Egypt who draws on her past to make her great once again. 
with you as president. As Pharaoh. And Seth's followers as my army. And you could become part of it. If you are willing to follow. If you are willing to kill. If you plan to throw the government into chaos, then you'll have to kill those men whose photos are in your office all at once. Very perceptive. And that is exactly what you may be a part of tomorrow. If your initiation is true, blindfold him. We will take him to the temple. Karnak, finish your work here and then follow. Serapis will come to help with the sarcophagus. Yes, Master. Two hours. Fred's got to be back soon. Come and sit down, Shannon. You'll just eat up the air faster that way. Yeah, Nicholas. I've just lay out Karnak, but I overheard Max say that Jim and Shannon are trapped in the tomb. Go on my way. Nicholas has Karnak. All right, you go on. Without moving on him, we can't help Max. by the sands of the desert, lost in the sands of time, a place where all other gods were forgotten, and one reigned supreme. Your life is about to change forever, Mr. Nick. They are called for tonight. Probe him for the ceremony. of Salim's targets in his office. I have not been able to find them yet. I don't have much time. Now, Salim said the mass killings were going to take place tomorrow. So where's Max now? Well, Salim took him to some temple. Maybe this guy can lead us there, once I walk my mystical ways. I think it's best if I stay here and look for those pictures. Oh, Amun-Ra, 
O oh God of gods, the tomb has been defiled, and eternal punishment falls on this man, Karnak, and others. In the name of Seth, they kill. But it is not your will. The Nubian, the ancient blood. The pool is troubled. One can see the past and the present in the ripples of the water. Look into the pool and see how to save your immortal soul. The mummy's ring. The ancient world. The world of Seth. The killings in his name were many. And the high priest was finally caught and buried alive. The slaves and soldiers were murdered. So that no man could tell of the tomb's existence. But now, the jackal's seal has been broken. And the killing must stop as they had to stop in the past. Seth cannot be served. And the mass killings must be stopped. That is the only way to save your soul. Go now. Jim, you got him? Yep, we've got him. Jim. Go, Nicholas. I just found Salem's hit list. A screen full of pictures. Good. Find the source and bring it back here. We're going after Karnak. Bring him. The signs of Seth will make sure he never speaks of what he has seen. should be right here. We cannot serve Seth as instruments of death. To save our souls, we must disband and never look on Seth's image again. Karnak! You are doing it, Master. I have seen the high priest walk. I have looked deep into the pool. Seth does not want the killings. Speak nonsense. I have the scroll. It is written. You betray me. No, master, no. It is the truth. You know I would die for you. And you will. The device says Karnak is right here. There are no ruins or temples anywhere. Yeah. Looks like this is our way in. A traitor is dead. We move on to ancient Egypt. Prepare for the ceremony. All right, so where are we? Oh, a chamber in the temple. But where? You got me. Look, over here. It's the temple, all right. Take a look at this. I'm going down. Be careful. We'll wait for your call. Let me go! You're all crazy! Why are you following this man? Jim. They've got Nicholas. Let me go!
So, we have the Egyptian secret police. We found him in your office, Master. He saw the pictures. You have done well, Serapis. You will take the place of the traitor Karnak at my right hand. You're insane. Bring him to the altar. Jim. Yeah, Grant. You're in the head of a huge statue of Seth. Those holes are his eyes. We've got to make something happen fast to save Nicholas. Right. We initiate a new follower tonight, and Seth has seen fit to send us his sacrifice. Mr. Lick, you will kill this agent of modern Egypt. I've got an idea. Go. This whole place has the full weight of the desert on top of it. If I set my communicator at the right frequency, I can make this sucker rock and roll. All right, good. Listen, I've been looking at this wall. Grant, I think it's a reflector. I think this whole chamber was built to reflect the sun's rays down through the eyes onto the altar. Something that hasn't happened since the temple was buried. How long before sunrise? Well, it's getting light already. It can't be more than maybe 10 minutes. Maybe we can make Seth the giver of life instead of its taker. OK. I think we've got some polishing to do. Kill him! Make it look good, buddy. of Seth is born. You will throw him into the pit while I intone the ancient scroll. O oh, Seth, God of gods, thy name is death, thy world is darkness. We live to serve, and in serving we kill. Present-day evil has joined ancient evil. Both of them lost in the sands of time. 